Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Ask Rob Trick. And in one of my streams last week, someone asked me if you could do more than two frames in a multiple exposure. And the short answer is yes, you can using the image overlay function. And basically, if you're not familiar with what multiple exposure is, it's when you take two pictures and the camera overlays them on top of each other to create the final image. And this has been used creatively since the film days. It's uh, really a neat technique. And uh, here's a couple examples that I've done. Like here's one of a silhouette of me and some trees. Here's another one where I created some very large bokeh balls. And here's another one with a soft focus effect. And, um, and then finally, here's one where I tried to make these columns look like they were up in the clouds. And, uh, and um, I did. it's really a neat feature. So what I'll start out with is explaining uh, how to do the multiple exposure in the first place. And then when you want to overlay additional images to create three, four, five frame multiple exposures, uh, how to use the image overlay function and some of the options there. All right, let's just do a simple example. Uh, I'm going to take a picture of my Ilford uh, box of film here. And uh, we'll do a double exposure. So it looks like we have two boxes of film. So I'm going to go into the menu, go into shooting menu number two, scroll down to multiple exposure, and click over. And we'll turn that on. And as you can see, it's limited to two frames here. And we'll talk about the uh, auto gain and image overlay um, after this. So now we're good. And you can see that right up here, I have a little icon telling me that I am in multiple exposure mode. So let's go ahead and take a picture here. Okay. And then I'm going to move this over here. And as you can see, the camera gives you a little bit of an overlay in the screen to help you compose. So I'm going to compose this Wilford box down in the bottom right. So it looks like we have two boxes of Ilford. And there's our final image. Now, let's talk about the other options here. So we'll go into multiple exposure. We'll turn this on to two frames. Now, auto gain was turned on for that last image. But if I turn it off, let me show you what happens. I'm going to take a picture. Now let's start on the bottom left bottom right and then we'll go up to the top left okay now if we look at this image it looks pretty similar to the last one but the difference is when you turn auto gain off instead of averaging the brightness of the exposures it's going to add the brightness from both exposures so technically this image is one stop brighter or twice as bright as the previous image. Now, let's look at the last option. We'll turn on multiple exposure, two frames, turn on auto gain, and this time we're going to do overlay on. So instead of uh, taking two pictures, you can select the first picture from whatever you've taken already on your memory card. So if I want to put the uh, Ilford image, say, in this um, sunny scene here, I'll select this to be my first image. Click OK again. We'll tap the shutter button. And then you can see there's a light overlay of the picture I selected from my memory card. I'll just put the Ilford down here in the bottom left. Focus on that and take a picture. And now when we look at this image, you can see that now the Ilford has been overlaid on top of my little sky with the sun scene. All right, so that was a very simple example of multiple exposure and the options that we have for image overlay and auto gain. Now let's go in and see how we can do additional uh, overlays using the image overlay function. All right, now let's use the image overlay function to do multiple exposures. So we just go into the images that we've already taken by hitting the play button. And as you can see, here's the uh, Ilford box in the sun. And uh, if I wanted to overlay this again, all I have to do is click OK, do image overlay. And uh, you can select two images or three images. We'll just do two images. Click OK. Now, let me see. 
decent image. Let's try overlaying with uh, maybe a little brighter scene. Let's try this one. Let's overlay these columns on top of here. Click OK. And then what you get here is sort of a preview of what you're going to overlay. And you can adjust the opacity of each layer down here by clicking up and down. So if I want the first layer, which is the columns, to be less prominent, I can reduce its opacity all the way down to just uh, 0.1. Or I can go all the way up high as 2. And now you can see it's very, very strong in the frame. But I think 1 was about right. Maybe 1.1. And then I can adjust the opacity of the Ilford box layer. Make that a little lighter. As you can see, it's getting lighter. But um, I'll make that about 1.3. Let's crank this up. OK, I think that looks pretty good. And once I'm kind of satisfied with the preview, I can preview it again. And before I save this, you know, I get a nice full screen view and I'll say yes. And that's our final image. So now I've overlaid three images on top of each other. And of course, you can do this again. But now the image overlay is moved down to the bottom here. I don't know why it shifts. It was to the second line, but now it's all the way down here. And I can do two images. And then, um, I don't know. Let's try the seascape. Let's, let's reduce the seascape a little bit. And... Reduce the uh, Ilford box a little bit. Remember, each time you add a layer, it brightens the image. OK, that looks good. And we'll click OK. So now I have a little bit of a seascape down here. And then the sky didn't change that much in the column. So here I've overlaid four images. All right, so let me give you some tips when you're doing multiple exposure and image overlay. And first of all, you really need to be shooting in RAW if you're going to be using the image overlay feature because the image overlay function or feature will not overlay JPEGs. They have to be RAW images. The good thing is that when you overlay the uh, RAW images, the final image will also be a RAW image. So you can take those into post-processing and do some additional editing if you need to. Um, the other thing is, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of the images here. Um, it's always a good idea to take pictures with the intent to do multiple exposure and image overlays. So I always like to do very high contrast type images with, you know, large areas of very dark uh, or underexposed parts. So, for example, this is one of the images I used. So for example, this is one of the images I used uh, for the image overlay. And you can see in the bottom left, it's very, very dark. So any second picture that I add or overlay to this is going to expose this dark area. So it's almost like an unexposed film or an unexposed part of your sensor that's waiting to get exposed by light from another image. Because again, this is where I put the Ilford image. So if we look at that one, you can see that the Ilford box easily overlaid on top of the uh, dark area. All right, let me just give you one more real life example where I went out on a photo walk with the intent to do multiple exposures. I was just kind of experimenting. So I took two pictures. I took this picture first. So you can see it's uh, relatively bright down here in the bottom left and a little bit down here on the right and just a tiny bit up in here. And then I took this image here, where I silhouetted everything down here, but then this is very brightly exposed up here. So my intent was to keep this area here, and then have this area fill in the bottom left, but not too much over here where the columns are. I wanted the columns to show. And 
I ended up with this image here. All right, and there's some tips on how to use multiple exposure and how to do more than two frames when you're doing multiple exposure via the image overlay feature. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, consider subscribing to the channel or maybe buy me a coffee in the links below. But either way, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you again soon.